Hi, Steffi here from The Makers, and uh, today I'm here to show you how to make these super cute little badger paws. And they are pink little um, pads on the paws, but of course you can also transfer that skill to any other animal. So I start by making um, a leg, and I'll show you a, a particular technique. But of course there are always many ways of getting to the same result, but um, all I've got here at the moment is just some black wool and some um, flesh pink wool. Both of these are New Zealand Merino and that is what I'm going to use to um, make the legs and the paws. The um, materials, if you want to um, have everything ready in one place, then um, it's in our makers box for um, June 2020. This may well be a kit if you're watching this at any point after, but at the moment um, that's where you get everything um, to make these cute little badger cups, two of them. Oopsie, one's fallen down. Um, and um, and that's what I'm using as an example. There you go. And these are the paws we're making. Right, let's get started. I'll have one down here so that uh, you can see what I'm doing. And um, here he is, so little pink paws. And we are making the legs from scratch. So to make the legs, uh, you take um, a quantity of the um, black wool. Um, it sort of works best if you've got bits like I have here to um, put them into some coherent um, little sort of pile and um, and then all you're going to do is you're going to fold this piece of black flat wool that you've got here. You're going to fold this in half and you're going to roll this in from a right angle um, and then you have to have your felting needle at the ready I'm using a coarse needle here and just stab into it so that you secure the shape now. And what you have got here now is you've got um, a, this is where the fold was at the top here. So when I rolled it in from the side, that makes the neat part of the paw. And then you've got the wispy ends here. And I'm keeping those wispy because they these are going to be the bits that attach to the body. So that I don't want to felt them down. They're also very handy to hold on to. Um, to keep your fingers away from the very sharp needle and I'm going I'm you notice that I'm stabbing it mostly um, from the broader side at the moment because I want these paws to be quite flat if they become too wide as can happen then you can stab into the sides as well so you work these um, to the size that you need to work them to especially if you're making um, paws with pink pads you mostly see the flat part of the paw, so um, it, it needs to be quite broad, but obviously not out of proportion to the rest of um, the animal that you're creating. And as, as you know, I'm doing this for our badger cups that come in the maker's box. So for a little while, this technical tutorial is only exclusive to our subscribers, and then we will make it available across the board on our YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel you find lots and lots of um, different types of tutorials. Some of them are make-alongs, whole projects that you can make along with, with us. And some of them are more technical um, tutorials such as this uh, paw that I'm making here. And you can see I'm working quite well on it. I want it to be a nice solid base so that I can start adding the pink pads onto it. So I don't want it to be soft and fluffy I do want it to be a nice solid shape. You can certainly use multi-tools you can also try and use um, two needles side by side that always speeds the work up if you can manage to hold two needles like like I do here now that's a super easy and um, efficient way of speeding your work up without having to invest in any extra tools so hold two needles sometimes you can even hold three needles uh, be mindful if you stab yourself, it also hurts twice as much, obviously. And um, I'm getting there now, so I'm going back down to one needle and just tuck in a few more fibers here and there. And once I've got that part of the leg prepared and nice and solid, then I'm going to start adding these little pink pads on there now. So this part here is really solid, and this part is fluffy and unfelted. And this part is going to be 
where the where the pink pads are added. Now I've got this flesh pink. It's a great color for adding pink pads. You can go pinker if you want to. Um, we we the flesh pink we like is um, the New Zealand merino that, that we sell, um, and that certainly comes in the badger box. But um, if you want to go pinker, you can go for the baby pink or um, New Zealand merino, or you could even go for the um, the mountain sheep pale pink. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm preparing my little pads by tearing off tiny wispy amounts. And I'm just laying them so you can see the size. And I'm going to make um, four of the same size. So I'm making four sort of toe pads, if you like, at the front. It's like the fingers. Making four about the same size. And they will be positioned along the tip of the paw so they, ha they have to all fit on there in sort of a curved fashion and then I'm going to make one slightly flatter rounder one for the back and another one another bit that's almost sort of like a half moon shape that goes um, below that so um, a tip here is that if you um, have a small amount of wool I'm just making it a tiny bit smaller and as soon as you put it there, it just sort of goes all over the place. So what you could do is you could position it to the tip of your needle and that will help you to put it um, in the place where you want it to be. Remember to keep your fingers out of the way and then just needle felt this right down. So what you have to be mindful of when you do this, the deeper you stab it into the paw, the more likely it is that the pink fibers will come out at the other side on this side here. In principle that's not a problem but if you want to avoid this then just don't stab so deep, just do really shallow stabs or even go in from the side. And then you're working your way along the tip of that paw at the pink pad. Number two going in now and now number three actually making them a little bit smaller than they were. If you are really worried about your fingers, I don't do it very often, but you could use a second needle. Hold this instead of keeping your fingers in the way. Hold this down with the other needle until you've got it in a place where you can just stab it without having to hold it in that position. And then I'm going to do number four. So these are sort of my round, my semicircle area where I added the pads. You can always add more wool. It's always best to add a few pink dots and add more. For example, if you want this to be a little bit more uh, prominent, then just add a bit more of the same pink. It's always easier to add more, but it's far less easy to pull it off once it's on there. So always work with little and add more rather than lots and take off. And then the flatter part of the pore looking at this now, um, is going to be sort of almost fit snugly into that curved area here. And that's um, almost like the ball of um, the foot. That goes here. And it's a slightly flatter and rounder shape. So now you've got um, your four little dots and your slightly rounder one. And then a th um, another final part which is almost like sort of a, a semicircle, almost like a sickle shape that goes um, below this and follows the round shape of the disc that you put down, or you can try and follow it anyway. So it has sort of more of a slight curved shape. And you can see I'm going quite at a shallow angle into this to make that curved shape. Here you go. Looks a bit like a smiley face with four eyes. Um, and that is the paw um, for the badger. You can still work on the shaping of the paw. You can cover up some of that black if you if, if it bothers you, or you can just stuff those pink fibers back in. Just be mindful that they don't come out on the other side. So great thing with needle felting is that um, you can still work on all kinds of um, um, areas, even um, if you think that you finished with it, change a needle, try and see if um, you get a, a smoother finish with a slightly thinner needle. And, um, and then once, you, once you're done um, in your project, ideally 
you will attach the leg to the bare, bare body so there isn't any color on it yet unless it's black anyway but in our budget case it will be the white body that the leg gets attached to so that it faces up so you spread these fibers out all around and they become the base at which you felt it down onto the body and then later you cover it cover the join with uh, the finished um, top coat color of the budger cup in this case but you might be doing other animals but this is um, really to show you how to make these pink little pads on a leg and how to make um, the shape in the first place so that's basically all just a very short and sweet short and sweet that's what we like tutorial on how to make a paw with pink pads that's all see you soon bye